Now, coming in at number five is an Atlas Tri Climate. Now, they took a little bit of a different approach with this one, and I had to throw it in there because this is more of a, the rugged jacket that maybe a lot of you were looking for. They, they didn't compromise breathability with this, but they took a different approach in that it uses a lot of a really heavy duty polyurethane shell that was gonna really protect you from the moisture, but not compromise that breathability that that North Face is really known for. Now out of all the jackets that we're gonna be looking at today, this one's probably gonna be the least style driven of them all, which is not a bad deal, because namely, when you're going out and you don't want a jacket that's gonna break the bank, um, this is gonna be a good all around purpose jacket for the average daily individual. Of all the jackets that we're talking about today, this one's gonna be the heaviest coming in at 2.9 pounds. This is your daily wear. This is something you're gonna take out camping. This is something you're gonna take to the grocery store. You're probably gonna show up to your friend's house in it. And you're gonna pretty much use it for just about any other reason you can justify. You know what, this is a really interesting one because a lot of people just really love this jacket. It's getting a 4.4 stars out of five. Now number four is interesting. I had to throw the Gordon Lyons in there because every jacket repertoire has to have an upscale support. Now this might be North Face's most vanilla jacket, but it's super breathable. It is gonna be for the person who's going to work with a button up shirt. It's gonna work great with the set of slacks because you are the corporate adventurer who's not gonna be bound by the man. Take it to them. This thing's gonna be sleek and slim, pretty much like everything else that's corporate and business these days. You're showing up to make a subtle statement and that's exactly what you're gonna do. Coming in at number three is the Gotham 3. Now this is North Face's ultimate cold winter coat because it's a high quality down insulation that you know is gonna give you the warm fuzzies. Now this is gonna be an ultralight jacket coming in at eight ounces. When I tried to look up more information on this jacket, I couldn't find much. North Face swaps out their website products so often, so I went to their Amazon store and I don't know if they really know what's going on with Amazon. I went to the listing and I found two different jackets on the same listing, so I guess you don't really know what you're gonna get. Now I will say I'm not a fan of the fur hood, but this is also not my jacket. Now all the materials used on the outside shell of this jacket is dry vent, you got a down insulator, this jacket's gonna keep you warm and cozy, but we know that this is a jacket that where some of your most intense adventures are not gonna be helping you out in the mountains, but in the city. Now where you might find yourself with this jacket is you're gonna start the night late, you don't know where you're going, what's happening, you're in the city, you got your crew and you know that's enough. Because you're adventure driven, but you're about the city. Now this loose fit jacket's coming in just around $300. Coming in at number two is the Thermal Tri-Climate. Who can argue with two jackets for one price? Now this jacket represents my favorite style of layering, which is a solid, stirable outer layer with a high performance thermal layer. Now one thing that you'll run into with conventional single layer jackets is that thermal regulation becomes a super huge issue. Especially if you consider yourself moderately active, you park trail walkers, or maybe you're getting a little sweaty and unzipping your coat just isn't the right option. What you get with this two layer system is really three jacket setups. Number one, you get your durable outer layer, which is gonna be perfect when you're going out in the rain, maybe it's summertime, you don't wanna get wet, but you wanna stay protected. You don't wanna get hot, and that thermal layer is not gonna do what it's meant to do because now you're just raising your body temperature too much. Then you have the opposite side from that, which is your thermal layer separated from your outer shell. Now this thermal layer lets you be in drier situations. And without having that outer shell, you'll actually get more moisture wicking capabilities because that regulation between the outside temperature and what's going on inside your jacket is gonna be a lot more abrupt because now you don't have this waterproof shell that's you know lining you from the environment. And then of course you have the combination layer. You wanna go out and be a little practical because you know the elements that you're gonna be immersed in are not necessarily gonna be natural. I actually might like this jacket most of all because you got a sleek inner layer, which I wish was down, but they don't say it is, so it probably means that it's not. But everything else about this jacket is right up my alley when it comes to style. I can be hard on my outside layer, I can open it up when I need to thermal regulate a little bit better, and I can take it out into more harsher environments to know that I'm gonna stay protected. I love the idea of this jacket. 
But what does this mean for you? Now, this is for the person who's quite a bit more outdoorsy and not afraid to get a little dirty at the same time. You're walking through the trees, the rain's coming down, this jacket's just blowing off branches and raindrops left and right, and you are feeling slim, you're feeling cozy, and you're ready to do work, son! You know this one wants you to get out in the elements because it breathes adventure. Now, the seasons that you're gonna be using this in is a fall, winter, or spring because you know that you can remove that inner thermal layer and regulate your temperature a lot better than if that inner thermal layer was sewn into the jacket. All in all, this jacket's gonna be for the person who's craving that unpredictable weather, coming in around 200 bones. And coming in at number one is the Inlux Insulated Jacket. North Face's dry vent technology, which allows your outer shell to be moisture wicking from the inside, but waterproof from the outside. Now this technology lets North Face use some more unconventional fabrics that might look better or have different designs to bring a more stylish aesthetic to your outdoor wardrobe. And they use their heat seeker insulation to allow this jacket to be high warmth, but low weight. And bring this jacket into a total of just eight ounces. Now that's that's mind boggling and that's that's probably why this thing comes out with a $200 price tag. Now this jacket's for those people who know that, you know, maybe climbing a mountain's not for me, but staying in the city is also not for me. This is a happy medium that North Face is designed to keep it super lightweight, keep you super warm and dry. My favorite colorway of this jacket is the Heather Gray. That allows you to get out and blend in. Now that's my top five North Face jackets. Now I wanna know from you guys, do you feel like I was right? Was I wrong? What's the best jacket that you guys have personally ever used? Let me know in the comments below. This is Tech Gear Clothing. We'll catch you next time.